Tennessee Flat Top Box. This is a classic song from Johnny Cash, originally recorded in 1961, and then re-recorded and became a number one hit with his daughter Roseanne Cash in 1987. And that's the version that we're going to play. The two versions are virtually identical. This one is a cleaner recording. It was a better known uh, version of the song. And so that's the one we're going to be focusing on uh, learning here. Roseanne Cash was married to another great country artist, Rodney Crowell, who produced this album for her, uh, King's Record Shop, in 1987. And it was Rodney's idea to cover this song that her dad had written. And she wasn't even aware at the time that her dad had written the song. She uh, thought it was in the public domain. And Johnny turned out to be very, very proud of that cut and her success with it. And it's part of a neat family story there in country music. And this song became the third of four consecutive number one hits for Roseanne Cash from that album. The title of the song refers to basically this type of guitar. This is a flat top acoustic guitar as opposed to an arch top, which is carved like sort of a jazz style guitar. And box, that refers to guitar in southern slang. Um, you know, you might call this the old git box or play, play the old box. It refers to this resonator part of the guitar. So Tennessee flat top box is a really colorful way of describing a standard steel string guitar. As we dig into this song, we'll be learning this iconic signature acoustic guitar lead part, which was performed by Randy Scruggs on the original recording. We will also learn an easy strum version of the song, very simple structure, something that any player of any level can learn. And we will also dig into the tick-tock electric guitar part, uh, which is another signature part of the Johnny Cash sound that Roseanne furthered on this recording. There's only two guitar parts on the recording. There's an acoustic guitar part, preferably a steel string acoustic guitar, but any type of guitar will do just fine, and an electric guitar part. And they are both capoed on the first fret, so you're gonna need a guitar, a pick, and a capo to learn this song. And why don't we go ahead and get started. 